Hey everyone, it's Justine Browning here at the Crosby Street Hotel in New York City to talk to Natalie Portman about her directorial debut, A Tale of Love and Darkness. I understand that you actually consulted with some of the amazing directors you've worked with in the past before starting this project, and I'm, I'm curious, was there advice that they gave you that didn't make sense until you were actually in production on this? Um, yeah, you know, I, I definitely... Um, I definitely had directors say things to me while I was working with them, um, like Mike Nichols always saying, remind yourself which part of the story this is, let's name it, let's name this moment. And then you realize when you're telling a story how important it is to get everyone um, really um, on the same page about what story you're telling all the time and keep reminding yourself because there's it's just so much, it's such a big um, thing to keep your eye on that to have um, to remind yourself each moment what point in the story you are is so important. Well, that's interesting because I know you've been a fan of this book for 10 years. Were there moments of the book that you wanted to put in the film but it didn't serve the narrative but for you personally it was difficult to let go of those? Absolutely. Um, there are things we even filmed that that you know didn't I ended up not putting in the film that I loved um, you know things of um, of almost at the kibbutz later, um, talking politics with his sort of mentor, and it just didn't fit really the, um, the, the narrative of the film, but were very, very beautiful scenes. So yeah, but that's sort of the inevitability of film, unfortunately.